nature which has blessed your life. Unwind and exit the surrounding turmoil by letting your imagination soar. Avoid crowded places and breathe the fresh air of the woods, the mountains, the sea. Revisit concepts, relax and bless life in whatever form it takes for you. Your present existence is plentiful with what you need to be happy. Also oh, beautiful. Your present existence is plentiful with what you need to be happy. Not necessarily what you want, but all you need to be happy. Right? Susanna, would you like to say a, a prayer for us this morning? Okay, welcome to Spiritual Center San Diego, uh, our Sunday, Spiritual Sunday. Um, so let's just take a moment, just like the message said, it is necessary for us to take a pause. So let's have our intention to take a deep breath. So that we can connect to our divine nature and divine friends and mentors. Helping us to set the pause in our busy lives. Intention to be able to hear what we need to hear and understand better what takes what it would take us to true happiness and true balance and peace and tolerance and patience thank you father for all that has been given to us and we now ask permission to open our spiritual sunday and above all may your will be done not ours so beautiful okay good morning everybody and good morning for those that are actually watching the video as well. Um, but here's the thing. As always, we try to get an inspiration from the gospel, right? To, to try to bring through the lenses of spiritism a life that never ends. To, get, to give clarity. Because, you know, here's the deal. Um, the gospel is beautiful. And Christianity is spread all over the, the planet, right? Of course, you know, it's not the religion of everybody, but it's it's the largest religion we have on on earth. But still, a lot of Christians don't see the horizon beyond a single life. Right? Um when we when we we think that when Jesus told us you must be born again to see the kingdom of heaven, he was not meaning anything else other than that. So you need unfortunately, multiple experiences, right, uh, to become what you're destined to be, which is a being of light, right? So all of us. So we're not, this is not the only life we're going to have. And the majority of people don't know that. And that's why some teachings of Jesus are kind of difficult to, to grasp. One of them is, is in Matthew, is when Jesus tells us to be perfect. Be perfect, right? You must be perfect to them. And Kardec has this in the chapter on the, on the gospel according to Spiritism, has a whole chapter dedicated to this passage, chapter 17, which is called Be Perfect, right? And I know, well, I have some people in my family that think they're perfect already, <laughs> but um, once you mature a little bit, right, and you start looking at yourself, not with the lenses of trying to prove you're better to other people, to your friends, right? You want to be better than your friends, right? And you start looking at yourself with a more mature perspective and say, I want to have a better life. Because being better than my friends doesn't bring me happiness. It brings me a moment of you know, satisfaction because I can beat them. That's very 
uh, short-lived because the next moment I'm not better anymore and something else, another game, another situation, right? What brings us happiness is not what is outside, but what's inside of us, is in our heart. Happiness is something we achieve within ourselves, right? It won't come from the outside. I know we think like having a, a Lamborghini or having, you know, all the games you can possibly get, right, will make you happy. That's okay. It's fine. Those are phases of our life, right? We think that we're going to get a home, we're going to get a, a car or a lot of money in the bank, and those things are going to make us happy. Unfortunately, a lot of people won't have that opportunity <laughs> because uh, not easy to accumulate that much money. But if you want to learn from that, just try to see, hear about those people that accumulated all that wealth and. Check how they achieved happiness. And you notice that how often their lives are completely miserable, right? I haven't finished yet, and um, I'm reading. Uh, there's a biography that just came out from Elon Musk, right? And uh, it's actually a very interesting book. I, it's uh, it's, it's uh, 800 pages. I haven't gone through it. But it's amazing to experience how this, the richest man on earth, how he achieved all that, um, accumulated all that money but how complicated his life is. And he was open-minded to let people actually tell the things the way they happen, or at least be honest in his brutal. His life was brutal. He's brutal, actually. He's pretty young still. He's my age. But uh, so what is missing? And that's what the gospel brings. The gospel brings the comfort and the guidance to get us to happiness. It doesn't mean that we don't have any, have any resources, any financial resources or nothing. It means that we have to balance things. And one thing is like this. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to accomplish in life, even playing a game, having a work, you know, uh, helping your community, your skills, your skills, and some people even talk about skill issues all the time. But when you have the skill to do the job, you can do well. Isn't that true? What if when you know something well, if you know something else, if you have acquired the knowledge to how to do it, I mean, I've been, I'm, I'm not a fan of cooking. I'm not a fan of cooking. My wife knows that. But life has brought me the, need, the necessity that I have to cook now a few times. It's super easy. It comes everything cut, you know. You guys know some of those companies that bring the, a box to your home. Everything's chopped properly. But I, I'm not a cooker. So... I don't like it, but I'm doing it now. And guess what? I'm starting to get better. It used to take me like two hours to, to do one of those dishes. Now it's starting to give me one hour. Most people take half an hour, maybe you know, somebody that knows what they're doing. Rosa would take 15 minutes to do it. It takes me an hour to do it. But I'm getting better because my knowledge, I'm learning how to, to peel the veggies, how to deal with onions, how to deal with all those things that I didn't like before. Right? The time it takes to cook something, right? That's an experience, right? So I didn't have that experience before. So I didn't like it. Now I have it. So I would say to you that I grew a little bit in my cooking skills in the past year, right? But then there's math. How many of you like math? Most people don't, right? But the whole world works on math, financials. If you want, to, you want to understand how to deal with money, you have to understand proportions. You have to understand interest rates. You have to understand dividends. You have to understand all those things that are all based on math, right? If you want to understand the uh, design an airplane or design a car or really understand how things work, math is going to be your friend. How many people like math? Not many. Until you start learning it. I'm actually an engineer of trade, so I actually learned to get... Um, um, taste for math. Now, I appreciate math way more than I did many years ago, right? And um, that's true for everything. Knowledge comes to us as we practice something, as we do something. That's why when Jesus told us in the gospel, be perfect, he's guiding us that unfortunately for us to become the best of ourselves, to become the human beings that will become enlightened, become like connected with the universe, understand God, and manifest love and compassion, we will have to acquire knowledge 
on pretty much everything. Everything. All the knowledge in the world is valid. But being perfect requires that we go through all those experiences and acquire them and move them. Is it possible in a single life? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But we, we don't have a single life. We'll have multiple lives. What we need now is the mindset. What the gospel has given us is like, I know you don't know a lot of things, and I know you have some limitations in your knowledge right now. But what the gospel has given you is the mindset. You, eventually, you and every, I mean, this is true. This is the beautiful thing from the gospel. is that every single one of us is going to be, is going to achieve our maximum potential. Jesus said, not a single one of my sheep will be lost. Every single one of us will make it. This is amazing. This is incredible part of the teaching that people overlook. We're all going to make it. We will, every single one of us, one day be an enlightened being. No matter who your friend is that you think is dumb or not or you don't like it, it doesn't matter. They are all going to make it. The path is going to be different. The path every single one of us will make it, it's going to be different. But the destination is settled. So what you need now to shorten your path, to make it you know, easier for you to achieve that path of enlightenment, is the mindset. The mindset that I am a work in progress. And that's okay. That's fine if I don't know math right now. Or I don't know language. Or I don't know music. Or I don't know math. I mean math. I don't know cooking. I don't know. But I am a work in progress because I need to bring this to me by my own effort. I have to become, I have to manifest the things in my life that will bring this knowledge to me. It won't be given to me. I'm not a passive looker, onlooker. I'm just, just someone like watching a game. Right? When you go watch a game, what happens? You're just, you know, appreciating how the players are, are doing well or not. But you, you're in a passive situation in that moment. Right? You're appreciating, maybe, understanding the game and so on. But eventually, you're going to be a gamer, a player yourself. You have to do it. But that will take you playing the game. And that's the most important thing, in my opinion, to understand in the passage, be perfect. That you are in a journey. You will be perfect one day, but be mindful that it will require your engaging, your movement, your direction to your life. And don't ask me why, but God gave us life, but gave us also the free will to make the choices we want to make. So it's a process that will happen when we want it to happen happen it will we just have the opportunity to speed up that process speed up our and shorten our path right or not you still have to learn math it's going to be painful <laughs> you still have to so the experience is going to still be somewhat the same for all of us because god is infinite love and gave the max to all of us still the process we're have, going to have to go through but we will go through at some point in time because every single one of us is a treasure, right? A spark of light created by God out of love with no exceptions, not a single exception, right? That was actually the what I would like to talk to you today, uh, right? Uh, be perfect. And uh, as always, God gave us one mouth in two years. So as I, what I say to you is exactly what I have to do myself, right? And with that in mind, we say goodbye to our friends in the, in the video and we prepare ourselves to move to our passes and meditation. Mm -hmm.